Hey everyone, happy Easter, happy Good Friday, and thank you so much for praying for Calvary West Littleton. We so appreciate your prayers, and we're already seeing uh, God moving through your prayers in our community. Um, and the reason we ask you to pray is because we believe that every prayer offered in faith in the name of Jesus Christ to God the Father is more powerful than a thousand lifetimes of striving. So thank you. In the last video, we asked you to pray for one of our core commitments, and that was to go show and tell the gospel boldly. And in this video, we're going to ask you to pray for another one of our core commitments, which is that we would be a people who connect with one another authentically. We at Calvary West Littleton want to be a people who have such healthy and deep relationships that it brings glory to God. And because this is Holy Week, I was thinking about Jesus' prayer, his high priestly prayer in John chapter 17. And the main theme of that entire chapter is the unity of the people of God. And I just want to read a couple of verses, verses 20 through 21. Um, Jesus says this, I don't pray for these alone, so for these 12 disciples, but I also pray for those who will believe in me through their word that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. So here, Jesus is asking that his disciples be so unified that it brings glory to the name of God. And that's what we're asking you to pray for in the coming weeks is that we would be a people at Calvary West Littleton who are so connected to one another, that our relationships are so strong, that they stand the test of time, and that they stand the test of all different kinds of trials, um, and that that would bring glory to God. And that the people, when they look at our relationships, they would say, Jesus is the Son of God, and He was sent into the world to save us. Specifically, we're asking you to pray for the unity of our church and the relationships that we build over the next um, several months before we launch. This is a really key time for us, and we just pray that, um, that the Lord would bring us together in a supernatural way, um, that we would have a unity that is inexplicable without His working in our lives. Uh, the second thing that we're asking you to pray for specifically is that God would make us a unified people in the midst of diversity. So one of the things that we've been praying together as a core team is that God would be pleased to bring us the nations. And specifically, we've been praying that God would bring us people from every single inhabited continent. So we're not necessarily thinking about Antarctica, but every single inhabited continent so that we have a bunch of people from different countries, cultures, and backgrounds who are worshiping the one true God together in unity. And the reason that we've been praying this is because we realize that when people gather together to worship God, people who have no reason to come together, people who have nothing in common with each other, but when they maintain unity together in love and they worship God, it brings glory to our Father in heaven. And the world sees that and they they wonder why we have such unity and such deep relationships, even though we come from vastly different places in the world. And it brings them to faith in Jesus Christ. So over the next coming weeks, we would love for you to pray for the unity of the disciples at Calvary West Littleton. Thank you again for your prayers. Uh, it's the most powerful thing that you can be doing for us as we look to launch this church and to realize this vision of seeing Jesus